I discovered metal uh, when I was 15 years old, and uh, I remember my cousin, a cousin of mine, was listening to Iron Maiden and Metallica, and uh, for me it was just noise. Basically, I just could not understand that style of music. It was just a bunch of crazy people making crazy noises, and I was more into. Um, rap music and uh, like radio music, easy listening music. And I was like, this is noise. And he was like, no, this is not noise. Just pay attention. It's, it's easy and it's full of melodies and rhythms and it's really technical. And because I was trying to play guitar at that time, um, but I was more into Tracy Chapman than Metallica. And, uh, but uh, he, he played uh, Fade to Black for me and I was like, Oh, this is really nice and uh, beautiful. And then I got into the whole song uh, because I was listening to it all the time to be able to play it. And finally, I was caught, you know, <laughs> and I, this is it. <laughs> One of the first show that I saw, a uh, metal show, was Death in France. And uh, because I, I, I discovered Metallica, and then, um, and then it was Sepultura and Morbid Angel and Death. It, it went very fast for me. Like in about six months, I was a metalhead. And um, so uh, Death was on tour for the album Symbolic. And uh, I, I, I was lucky enough to catch them on this tour. And it was just amazing. Uh, independence. Um, I would say that uh, a metal band is ready to go on tour, is ready to fight, is ready to, uh, you know, to uh, impress people. It's there is something I don't know, very attractive, and uh, it sounds independent. I don't know. That's just a feeling that I have, and uh, that's how I like to feel. Also, independent, free. You know, and uh, there is something about freedom and uh, wildness, I don't know. Uh, what happened is, with my brother, is we were into music in general, like enjoying music a lot. And I was playing piano at that time, and he was more like uh, playing drums and like uh, in the kitchen, you know, on the plates. And uh, you know, uh, yeah, they were like, ah, this is nice. Yeah, of course you're playing drums, and you're four years old, you know. And um, and I started to play guitar, and I was in a in a band. I'm older than he, than him. I'm five years older. So when I was like. 13 he was just eight years old he was a bit too young to play in a band but i was already playing in a band with friends and the drummer had a hard time playing sepultura songs and uh and then i i would go back home and and my brother was like i want to try this and i was sure he would he would be really good and he tried it and he was so good you know and i was like wow we should have a band together and we started to play just like that and we we did our first compositions it was just so natural so spontaneous that we were playing together even before having a band so you know that's how it happened it's it was because of me <laughs> it's my fault Being a French band is, uh, for us, was hard at first with business because, um, for example, a um, um, German label or an English label or a magazine is like, they're French, so they suck because the France is not about metal, right? France is about cheese and eating frogs and being old, right? <laughs> so so it's not metal. So with the music industry, being French is not easy. But with the people, especially in America, they're like, oh, you're French, but that, that's 
that's really original and uh, do you have electricity in France and you, you play guitar that's amazing so they know that Scandinavia is about metal but France you know is about something else so uh, so it was hard but now it's a plus because uh, I don't know why it's cooler uh, people in America like uh, Europe a lot and especially maybe France because of uh, the Eiffel Tower or I don't know why <laughs> But they seem to enjoy have a French band in front of them, finally. So now it became a plus, but it, it took us a long time for that. Yeah. I will have to be strong.